Greetings, Poké fans! Taking adventures here, and I heard you like my kips. I certainly do. Why did I ask? Because just for three hours today, my kip will be appearing all over the world, including right here at Marina Bay Sands. Well, Gardens, by the way, actually. So, heading up right now, so mud kips will be spawning everywhere. Of course, I am a mud kip fan myself, and just for today, a special rare mud kip will show up right here at Marina Bay Sands, and it's purple. So, without further ado, I'm gonna hunt for some mud kips today, hopefully, round up some really good ones for myself. Of course, I'm not just a mud kip fan, I am a swampert fan as well. Hoping for some really strong hydro cannon swampers to get today. So, without further ado, let's dive on into the mud kip. Alright, we've just found ourselves our very first mud kip here. Alright, it is a uh, standard issue blue mud kip. Not, nothing special actually, so I, I love mud kips. Yeah, I've said that like a probably a bit like what three times so far. So, yeah, for those mud kip fans out there, this is your chance to get as many mud kips as possible right here. Well, for the rest of you all over the world, it's probably going to spawn sometime around 4 p.m. for you. So be on the lookout for some pretty snazzy mud kips. This one doesn't have particularly amazing IV, so I am going to transfer it over to Professor Willow. Professor Willow is a big fan of mud kips as well. And already you can see some mud kips on the nearby which I am gonna track down right now starting with you alrighty pokey fans so here we have three mud kips pretty close to each other which I love because I like mud kips do you so we have our first mud kip here it's a blue mud kip it's not the rare purple mudkip I've been searching for actually. I'm hoping to find at least one purple mudkip today, so I'll be on the lookout for those. Nice, I've got the first mudkip in the bag. Let's check your IVs. It's, it's garbage, it's pretty garbage. Time to check those remaining two and round them out because I love mudkips. I'll try and catch every single one here in the spirit of liking mudkips, so... Alright. Number two, going in. Currently, it's hotter than a magma's forehead butt crack, so probably not the ideal weather for uh, weather boosted mudkips. But it's pretty ideal to keep my camera dry. Nope, th this is trash, trash IVs as well. Let's move on with this mudkip. All right, it's blue, but I still like it. So I wonder how many times I'm going to say like in this video because uh, I like mudkips. Alright, so I've been searching for some mudkips for about one hour and oh my, I found lots of mudkips. And you know how much I like mudkips. Unfortunately, these are regular blue mudkips, not the rare purple mudkips I've been searching for today. I wonder how long it'll take me till I find my first ever purple mudkip. So, struggling to catch this guy because he is knocking my pokeballs away. So, yeah. We are one and a half hours into my mudkip search, and look what we have here a Raihorn chilling next to a body of water. Well, isn't Raihorn four times weak to water? God damn it, Niantic, you screwed up. Well, it makes sense that we have Dome, aka Kabuto, right next to the freaking water. But why is a Raihorn right next to the water when it's literally four times weak to water? Oh, wait. Is that another mud kit? Is that... Not, not you, Spoink. I am, I, I, I'm looking for the mud kit. Oh, dang it. it! It's a freaking blue mud kit. Where are my purple mud kits? Where are the rare ones? Why? Like, we we are literally next to a freaking body of water, and yet. There are no rare mudkips, just measly blue mudkips with trash IVs. Screw you. Oh my Arcus. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. I, I know I didn't show me catching this this boy here, but uh, I, I, was li I was literally too excited over this purple mudkip boy here that I, I realized I forgot to hit record on my phone and uh, because of me liking mudkips so much I 
wasn't, uh, I just forgot to... Oh, 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 oh my god! Back to bank! Let's go! <laughs> back to bank! <laughs> back to bank! Back to bank purples! <laughs> back to bank! Oh man, that luck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, where well, I got that luck. Where well, I got that luck on Begon Day. <laughs> yeah, at least, at least you got that one on Begon Day. I got that luck on Begon Day. Uh, two times in a row, freaking green Begons. Yeah, the radioactive Begons. <laughs> oh my Arcus, this is. A... That, Wait, that's is buff. Me? That's buff. Ooh. <laughs> that's so buff. Oh man, that's 14 HP. Right? Yeah, 14 HP. <laughs> Alright, so it's been a while since I picked up this video here, but I am sorry I was a bit engrossed because I really love mudkips so much. I was uh, pretty busy hunting for those mudkips and uh, yeah, searching for the rare purple mudkip that I so want. Unfortunately, I only got two purple mudkips today. Those rare mudkips are pretty darn rare. I didn't manage to get a whole lot of them. These spawns at Gardens by the Bay were not that great. So if, even for a water biome, actually, uh, I would say it's pretty that cluster pretty mediocre for a water biome like the Marina Bay Sands area so definitely not the best place for a community day but what I can tell you is that Swampert is one of the best water type attackers in the game bar Kyogre bar Palkia if you look at the DPS charts I'll be putting up on screen you can see that Kyogre and Palkia are at the top of the charts Swampert coming in at a close third right there the numbers pretty much speak for themselves Kyogre, Palkia, Swampert Gyarados even. If you compare the TDO, you'll see a similar trend. Kyogre and Swampert now take the two top spots. Palkia also sing, sitting pretty high up there as well. Palkia, Kyogre, Swampert all dominating the top three slots right there. Yeah, so it's pretty safe to say that Hydro Cannon Swampert will be a pretty meta-defining feature, especially since I got quite a few good IV ones as well, uh, quite suitable for Great League. Although I might want to use them for raids if the raid meta has more mods that are weak to water type attacks, I'll definitely be powering up my Swamperts. I'll perhaps be using them in future Silph Cups if uh, if I ever want to participate in any of those PvP matches. 
definitely Swampert is a pre title contender to consider actually so yeah that's basically pretty much it for this video I'm sorry if it was a bit short I was pretty engrossed in playing and hunting for some mudkips today yeah so just to lengthen the video I shall put the evolutions of my mudkips right at the end I'll just stitch it on to this video right here so so yeah this has been Taken Adventures I'm gonna be signing off right now so until next time Poke fans. Gotta catch them all. Alright, so we are about one and a half hours into my, well, oh, shit, I almost broke the fourth wall. <laughs> Alright. <laughs>